Screen sets remember all the view-related settings and much more. There's no longer any need to keep rearranging and setting up your workspace for the task in hand. Screen sets mean we can have a view streamlined for one task and then instantly switch to another view streamlined for a completely different one. Let's look at a few simple ideas. Perhaps, when mixing, it would be helpful to be able to adjust automation parameters and edit envelopes, while also having access to the console view for mixing both the tracks and buses. Screen sets can make that task much quicker than it might be otherwise. First, let's copy this screen set to a spare one. To do that, either use the screen set menu in the screen set module or press control and the corresponding number on the QWERTY keyboard. That automatically switches screen sets as well. Then fit the tracks to the view by pressing F. Then change all of the audio track edit filters to the envelopes we wish to work with, perhaps the reverb send level. To do that quickly, press Ctrl plus A to select all. Then middle mouse click to show the HUD and hold the Ctrl key down while selecting the reverb send parameter from the automation menu. Then deselect all by pressing Ctrl Shift A. Next, let's expand the console view by pressing Shift plus D. Then hide all strips except tracks. We now have a screen set with a track view set for envelope editing and a console view with all tracks visible. Switch the view by pressing D. Now let's set a screen set up just for buses. Copy this current screen set to screen set 3 by press Ctrl plus 3. The switch to screen set 3 also happens automatically. This time, hide all strips except the bus strip, then press D to collapse the multi-dock. In the track view, show the bus pane and click drag it to full height. Once that's done, reopen the multi-dock. Rename the screen set bus mixing by selecting the rename option from the screen set module menu. Switch back to screen set 2 and rename that track mixing. Now that's done, it's possible to switch from envelope editing to adjusting the track mix in the console view by pressing D. Then to switch to bus mixing, press 3, which takes us to the bus mixing screen set. Already you can see that once set up, screen sets can save an enormous amount of window dragging, resizing, and scrolling, not to mention changing settings. Just about everything is remembered per screen set. Full screen view, auto track zoom, widget settings, zoom level, track and bus visibility states, and more. Better still, there are 10 slots altogether, and once set up, can be saved as part of the project template, making setup a one time and forget process. Here's a step through the screen sets in a typical project with just some of the possible uses for them. Screen set 1 An overview of the project with the browser open for adding media files and synths, perhaps. Screen set 2. Audio only for recording and editing audio. The console view is already open in the multi-dock. 3. MIDI only for MIDI track arranging and the piano roll view open in the multi-dock for MIDI editing. 4. Tracks only for general track arranging in the track view and mixing tracks in the console view. Screen set 5. Buses only. Used for mixing buses and adjusting their settings. 6. A hybrid view to display multiple tracks in. 7. A full mixing console view of both tracks and buses. 8. A meter bridge view allowing meters to be fully visible while still being able to edit in the track view. 9. A multi-edit view. With a fully zoomed track, access to the edit filter to change edit type and tracks can be switched between using the minimal console view at the bottom. Finally, screen set 10. Similar to screen set 9, but with all tracks broken out to track lanes for easy lane editing. All of these views set up how you want them, ready to work in and instantly accessible at the press of a button.